I'd finally got the PRS DGT SE videos uh, on a bit of a false start because of the uh, the wiring on the coil tap. Watch that if you're at all interested in a bit of a controversial topic. Anyway, today we're going to um, talk just a little bit about first thoughts. I only got this today um, and no doubt most of you have seen some of uh, the reviews that are out there anyway. But we've got a you know a PRS. It's the DGT. I've wanted a DGT for so long, so I'm really glad they came out with the SE. On this, it is a 10-inch uh, uh, radius, 25-inch scale, length, 22 uh, jumbo frets, nickel hardware, two PRS uh, sort of S humbuckers there that are, uh, have coil tap uh, on each. And I'm just going to give you some sort of first first impressions. Um, the intro piece was for those who are sort of Dave Grissom fans. That's uh, that's one of his ones there, and it was just all, all obviously this guitar sounds and feels so good. So let's have a look at some of the sounds. So one of the first things I suppose you've got to talk about is is the aesthetic, and you know that's one of the things that's really inspirational. It's one of the reasons you pick up a guitar to begin with is it, is it looks so good. So it might sound funny to some, it's all how it feels and how it sounds, but looks totally come into it. Um, and for me, this is you know I love the gold top with the uh, the moon inlays as opposed to the birds and it's sort of a, a flame. Um, so the mahogany body, you can see it in the light. Um, it's got a maple, maple cap, but obviously with the gold top, you know you don't you don't sort of see it on top uh, quite as much. Um, immediately for me, uh, you know it feels feels great. It feels beautifully balanced. Um, I like rosewood fingerboards and I like jumbo frets, so that kind of really, really sort of uh, suits me well. The humbucker uh, sound, obviously with the coil tap, was something that I really wanted, and these pickups sound so good. Um, so beyond the aesthetic, I suppose, the the feel of the guitar, as I said, it's really balanced, but the you know the neck for me was um, a bit of a an unknown, and that's because um, it's a high gloss neck. You can see that. So uh, I'm used to, and I usually like satin necks um, or completely sort of just the bare, the bare wood. So I was a little apprehensive, I suppose, about that. But honestly, I don't even notice it. It, um, it just feels great in the hand. It's a bigger neck. If you're used to a Fender Modern C, um, this this is going to be a little bit chunkier in the hand. I don't think it's you know vintage chunky. Um, it's sort of hard to describe uh, neck shape, but it, you know a, a lot of people are probably familiar with the the modern C that's coming out of Fender in the last however many years, um, and it's a really comfortable shape. It's it's not um, a, a fat neck at all. So as I said, this is bigger than that, but feels really really comfortable. Again, so personal. You, you just have to try it. Take take my word for it. Um, as I said, rosewood board. I really like the rosewood boards um, and the, the the jumbo frets. So I've just got a Marshall profile on the Kemper here. <laughs> sound I'm um, just trying out the uh, the neck pickup <laughs> really nice sort of warm and throaty they I get the sense that they balance quite well and all the, not all of my guitars do that if you have a certain sound the neck and the middle they just they, they don't get along <laughs> those who are coming from strats uh, might be thinking this is tone tone volume or volume tone tone something like that uh, it's not it's two volumes and a tone uh, which is interesting now this first volume actually controls the bridge pickup and the second volume controls the neck pickup and then the tone uh, at the end there works for both and that's where your coil tap is there so um, that kind of works again it's just something to get to get used to there all right going to neck pickup just put a little bit of reverb on delay reverb and delay on just to see uh, what that sounds like <laughs> Thank you. 
Really nice sound. It's 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 such a thick sound. You know, I don't have a Les Paul, so it's one of the reasons I really wanted this to get that really nice thick humbucker. Let's go to the bridge pickup. <laughs> Really, really nice sound. Again, the strings, because it's 25 inch on tens on here, they don't they feel more slinky than they than they might do on uh, on another guitar. All right, I'm just gonna play that intro of uh, Flim Flam that I played at the beginning. I'm gonna do it on the humbucker, uh, and then I'm gonna do it on uh, with the coil tap on. So it's gonna stay bridge humbucker, but with the coil tap. I'm gonna leave the wet sort of effects on. Colors are sound a little bit short, but you know, it's kind of more realistic to me and what, what you might um, play with ordinarily. So let's just have a look at this. <laughs> Certainly softer there. It sounds sounds great. Let's do same thing with the neck pickup. So we're getting a variety of sounds. Let's go to something clean. Okay, now I'm on a basement profile, 59 basement. So really, really different sound. Um, a tone is all the way up. I'm on the humbucker neck pickup. <laughs> Let's go in uh, call tap. So that call tap is really, really warm. Can you get kind of that? Um So you definitely get more of that single coil type of sound when you coil tap that neck pickup. Bridge pickup. As opposed to uh, humbucker. All right, so I've only had this uh, about an hour, just run through only a few tones. I thought it'd be nice to sort of do a first impressions um, video. Uh, I really, really love the guitar. The sounds at the moment are really varied. Uh, you get that beautiful, rich humbucker sound, that two humbucker neck and middle combo 
Um, sounds great with the coil tap uh, at the moment. Again, I haven't played too much. Um, feel wise, the neck feels great. The gloss, the high gloss didn't bother me a bit. The tuners um, seem seem great. I love a floating, a little bit of floating trim and that's, that's the way that, you know, this is set up which is really nice, you can get those shimmer shimmer type of chords. I haven't really been able to test with the tuning stability yet. Um, again, this is a brand new guitar, new strings. I tried to stretch them a little bit. It doesn't have any nuts or so on or anything. So um, I'm sure I need to, to do a little bit of that uh, once I get going. But uh, you look beyond that, the jumbo frets feel beautiful, rosewood board. Um, what can I say, for the money, you know, go buy one. There's my recommendation for the Paul Reed Smith DGT SE. It's a beautiful, beautiful guitar. Competes with uh, other guitars I've got that are double or more the price. So, all right, I might do another video later once I have a play a little bit more. See you soon.